Hey, what's going on, my uh, homeboys? This is Silent, your boy Silent, bringing you another video again. Uh, this is my uh, part duh of my uh, no uh, to, of my new uh, stealth uh, server. Uh, just plug and play a server I'm doing. Um, I wanted to uh, show you some of the uh, the GUI uh, and XML. Uh, items that I added to added to this that you can you can change um, currently right now I uh, I only have um, a limited uh, number of things that you can actually edit that's uh, functioning uh, I still have to figure out some things like for example the XZP XZP file um, I'm not sure where I'm going with that. I might make it so you can edit that. Right now it's uh downloading from the listener. And if you try if you try to ch make changes to that, it's just going to it's going to crash on you. So I might make updates to that in the future, but anyway, let me show you uh what I do have here for you. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to the first thing I wanted to cover was uh the colors and the rainbow um okay so these you can you can change they they uh they work these other buttons uh check time check kv time redeem none of them work since there's no mysql backend so don't even bother with those rainbow Pretty, pretty simple. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna add any more to it, but uh, that's what it does. If you want to see, see, a, see an example of it, yeah. And then the, uh, so the, uh, the INI file that, uh, that this, uh, that the rainbow and um, linear and radial read off of. Uh, it's not going to, when you click on like say linear or radial, it's not going to save to the INI file. It, it it won't for some reason. And why it does that, I, I don't know. I haven't bothered figuring that out yet. I will say though that uh, for the config file though, uh, there's a, there is a, a file on there called uh, Hang on, let me just look at it real quick here. Okay, in Stealth Cache, there is a file called RGB INI. All right, don't mess with that. Um, it's, uh, uh, how do I explain this? Okay, so the uh, these, these numbers that you see on here, 71, 244, 177, 102, 67, 228. Okay, those are those will save to that RGB file. So whatever you whatever you change this to, okay. If you hit if you hit save save UI settings, it will save to that file. All right, it'll save to the RGB file. So don't touch them and just uh, you can adjust because you can adjust them on here. Um, like I said before, I'm still, I still, I just started this a few weeks ago, so I'm not exactly sure where I'm going with it yet, but, um, I've learned some new things and I, I don't know if the community might like it or not, but having it so you don't have to mess around with Visual Studio and you can just make whatever, uh, adjustments to the UI you, you want without having to mess with, uh, too many, too much, uh, code. All right, so right, uh, so I wanted to move on to the uh, XMLs next on how to do that because I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people that are pretty confused about how that works. <clears throat> so okay, uh, first thing you're going to need is you're going to need a web server. Okay, and you're going to need a web server with a uh, IPv4 static IP. All right, this won't work with anything else. It won't work with 
I may in the future uh, set up a possible DNS uh, capabilities. I might do that because um, somebody helped me with the DNS resolver uh, several months back, and I know how to do that now. But I don't know if I'll add that or, add that or not. But for right now, um, this is what we this is what we've got. So um, let me just pop this up here. Okay, so when you get your web server, you are going to enter in your uh, IP address, all right, into it, like I've got there, just like that. Don't have any uh, extra spaces or anything, just very similar to how, how I have it here, all right? Also, um, while we're here, if you want to uh, make some adjustments to the, uh, the text that you see on uh, um when you uh, pull up when the Xbox 360 launches, like the the welcome to and the silent live and the hookah and close guy, okay, um, you can change that here, but uh, make sure that the characters are the same space are are the same space apart, okay? So this is same amount of characters is what I'm saying. So from right here. With the W, for example, um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18. I'll count that a minute. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17. Count 16. Okay, make sure you don't make sure you keep the characters. If you make any changes, make sure that the character space is at least 16 uh either 16 characters long or somewhere in there. But it, but the space has to it has to go out to here. Uh same thing for the rest of these. You know, you can count them if you want. If you're really really struggling, don't know what to do, what I like to do is I like to when I make changes, say I want to change the W to B or something. I'll delete the W and change it to B. Same thing with uh, the E. I delete the E and change it to an A or something. All right. So that way the same amount of space remains the same. Which is not characters. I'm sorry. 16 spaces for this. And I'm not sure what these other these other ones are. I'd have to count them out, but I'm not going to do that. All right. Anyway, so once you get that, say, once you get the IP I uh, entered uh, you are going to uh, save and then copy it over to over to uh, the stealth cache <clears throat> right okay so when you uh, when you set up the uh, PHP files you want to set it up uh, with the you want to have an ass uh, make a folder in your web in your web server folder and call it assets and then there's going to be four files, silent one through four for PHP. And you want to have them uh, set up just like this, how I have it here. <clears throat> All right, so you can either have, um, you can either use the same web server or another web server like I'm, I'm using. So for example, um, for uh, silent, silent one, you're going to uh, set up your dash home XML for that one, uh, like I have it here. So you scroll, you open it up, you uh, you scroll to the bottom of the page, find a uh, file get contents uh, section here, and then enter in the uh, URL of where your dash home is uh, stored. Dash home XML. Um, same thing for the rest of these. This one is for uh, help on 360. Sil uh, silent. That's silent two. Silent three is for uh, dash video MP, and silent four is for uh, X. Uh, uh, EXL uh, Games Marketplace. <clears throat> uh, 
I'm not really going to go into uh, much details on how to uh, edit your uh, XML files since I've covered that in previous tutorials. You can go back and, and watch those. Um, I've de I did a bunch of demonstrations honest, on old, older videos. Honestly, uh, you, the best way to learn how to use these is just to mess around with them, just to experiment and, and whatnot. Uh, otherwise, I would just be repeating myself from past past tutorials, which I don't really care to do. <clears throat> All right, so then the next thing I wanted to explain uh, what to do is how to adjust these uh, images. So I've got this set up so where the, uh, the stealth client will read the images from the stealth cache folder and, uh, you know, pop them up when the uh, 360 launches you can uh, make these you can make uh, you can change the design to them and, and whatnot again um, I'm not sure I'm not sure exactly where I'm going with this uh, entirely um, I might uh, I might I was thinking about having the XZP all the images and files and XUR and all that crap all that stuff just launch from the uh, from the uh, stealth cache folder and have it set up similar to, to what I'm about ready to show you here on how to uh, make changes to it. So you don't again, so you don't have to mesh with, uh, so you don't have to mess with Visual Studio that much. All right. So um, anyway, for this, uh, say you want to make changes to the avatar. So you're going to change this to uh, PNG extension to PNG. And then you're gonna um, double click it, open it up in with your favorite editor or something. Um, like I use uh, I use something called uh, three P, uh, Paint 3D. That's what I usually use. Open it up and um, change it to whatever whatever color you want. And then save it again as uh, a PNG file again. And then uh, Convert a uh, change extension back to a bin file. And then you're gonna you're gonna right click it and you're gonna uh, look for the uh, <clears throat> you're gonna look for the data bytes, which for this one uh, it is uh Five, four, four, seven, three is the byte size. And then once you get the byte size, you're going to put, it, you're going to open your config file, and you're going to change the avatar size to whatever the new byte size is. And same thing for the offline uh, dash image as well. You can put in any image in here you want, technically, but just keep in mind that the uh, byte size needs to be, you know. Uh, small enough to be able to to, to fit on the 360. Uh, my recommendation is just is to keep the uh, byte size similar to what uh, I have the, the original images as. All right, and then uh, you save it and then copy it all over to Stealth Cache. Then when you restart, it uh, it change it uh, shows the uh, your image for you. Again, um. This is just some of the stuff I've made uh, changes to so far. I don't know exactly what direction I'm going, but I'm thinking about uh, probably in the next few weeks or month here, uh, converting all this over to uh, reading off of having the XCP re read from the stealth cache. So uh, you can make uh, a bunch of uh, changes to the UI and stuff. All right, right. So that's uh, that's all I have to cover for this segment. Um, if I add more stuff, I will definitely make another video, a part three video. But like I said before, in the future, I'm not sure if I'm gonna, if this is gonna be it. If I'm gonna kill this project or continue on with it. I do know that the GTA just went uh, servers for the 360 and the PS3 went offline about a week or two ago. 
and I know Halo 3 and Reach and the rest of the servers for Halo for the 360 and the PS3 are going offline here within the next week as well. So, I, I mean, the, the 360 culture is definitely not dead by a long shot. There are all, as long as this, as long as Microsoft has this, has this lingo uh, online, um, people are still going to constantly, you know, still play it. And so, you know, I, I can still see this going on for and probably another five more years, to be honest. Who knows? All right. Anyway, uh, comments, whatever below. All right. Thanks.